Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Capricorns in love for the first half of October 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yes, this is for Capricorn in love for the first half of October 2020. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Well, let's get started. <clears throat> Capricorns in love for the first half of October 2020. Capricorns in love for the first half of October 2020. Capricorns in love for the first half of October 2020. Got the 13 card. Capricorns in love for the first half of October 2020. Capricorns in love for the first half. Okay. Capricorns in love for the first half of October 2020. Okie doke. <clears throat> all right, so we're starting out here with the 13 card, all right? This is the little girl card, right? Now, this is, you know, a little girl or a child or something like this, right? I also see the Knight of Swords here, so there's some truth coming in about a child, all right? Now, uh, this could be somebody who's very, you know, if it's not you, uh, Capricorn, acting this way, you know, immature or you know, naive or whatever, this could indicate that uh, you are trying to have a new beginning, possibly, right? Starting to uh, trust people more, or having some sort of renewal in your life, right? Um, after you've found out some truth, right? Somebody brought in some uh, message to you of some truth. Now, we do have the, th the 13 card uh, might resonate, uh, that number 13 might resonate with somebody or the number 4. But, you know, the energy of this card is about innocence, right? New beginnings, you know, it could also mean somebody who is immature, somebody who's curious, right? Somebody who's honest and open. And this is the energy that you may want to be drawing into your life, you know? Now we also have the 28 card, and this is the young man. So um, you could be dealing with a young man, or this is you. All right, Ace of Cups, new beginning in love. Now with that 28 card, that uh, reduces down to the number 10. And that's telling me that this is uh, coming to a close of a cycle, and it could be in, a, in regards to a um, <clears throat> new beginning or some sort of trust or renewal in a situation, right? Because when we have 10, that's endings, but then there's new beginnings, right? And then we have that Ace of Cups, so there could be a new beginning. But uh, this new beginning is, is, is kind of uh, it's different for you, right? Because you're starting to be a little more open, isn't it? Uh, honest and trusting, right? Uh, you want some new, something new in your life here is what I'm feeling. And you want it new. You want something new in regards to love. Because you may have found out some truth about something uh, that uh, you were pretty much naive about. You didn't know, right? Um, truth came out. And, you know, you might be ending a cycle and wanting to start a new one somewhere else, right? And we have this energy right here, King of Pentacles. That's you, Capricorn. So you might be actually dropping something, starting something new. And this could be in regards to finances, all right? Or if it's not finances, it could be your own stability, your own balance within yourself. 34 reduces to the number 7. That spirit's number to me. Uh, I don't know what no, the number represents to you, but to me, it's uh, it represents spirit. Uh, so you may be coming um, a little bit more spiritual. Um, you may be putting your faith in God or the universe or something like that uh, to. Um, help you uh, with your business possibly because 34 this is a card of a business right a businessman somebody who, who who trades or you know makes some sort of some sort of business some somehow you know whoops uh so yeah that's what i'm seeing here 
So let's go ahead and grab the tarot, see what else we got going on for you for Capricorn in Love for the first half of September 2020 for Capricorn in Love. Sorry, October. For the first half of October 2020, for the first half of October 2020 for Capricorn, for the first half of October 2020. There we go. Let's see what all came out. Whoa. <clears throat> All right, so first of all, we have the chariot. So yes, definitely moving in a direction, right, towards something new, right? Um, looking for a new beginning, I see here, right? Because maybe in the past you were a little naive about a situation, um, but you're looking at the past, right? And you're, you're, I th I'm feeling like you're ready to move on from whatever this was. Uh, this could also be you dealing with childhood traumas, getting over traumas of the, of the past, childhood traumas, and, and, and moving forward from them, right? Healing from them, right? What else do we got here? Okay, we got the five of wands here. Now, this card, you know, is usually about a card of arguments and conflicts and problems, but I, I don't see that here. I see you maybe possibly working together with others, you know, getting along well with others too. And this could be in regards to um, maybe the new you. I don't know. I'm feeling that you've come out of this naive state. Uh, you've healed from some sort of traumas. You're moving forward on the chariot from that. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm sorry, a, a Cancer. Um, but I see you moving on from somebody who may be younger than you, could be a cancer, and letting that cycle end and moving towards a new cycle in love. Let's see. Uh, yeah, with this five of wands here, there, you know, you might have had some mental conflict thinking about this, that, and whatever. But um, I still feel that uh, you're going to get past that. And you're going to uh, be working with others in regards to possibly a business, right? Yeah, let's see what's next. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, right? And that's a message of emotions coming into you. So you might be working with others to heal yourself also. If you have not, we're, we're, we're on a journey of healing for like until the end, right? Until our end of times. We're never going to be without some sort of healing in our life, right? Um, because our whole life is about learning and lessons and healing. So I do feel you might be working with others to heal a situation, right? To become more balanced within yourself, right? And you're going to reach that because we've got the King of Pentacles here. So you're going to reach that point. And once you do, you're going to be balanced in uh, several areas of your life. And that's going to be including emotions, okay? And, and that's good. Let's see. All right, so right here we have you, uh, you know, we have you moving away from trauma, right? And, and uh, you could be dealing with a cancer, but if not, you're moving away from this trauma, moving forward on the chariot, right? You could have had some conflict with, uh, with others, maybe even family members, you know, about whatever trauma, because something may have been pulled out of you. You know, the moon, the moon is about illusion and secrets. You may have found something out and you may be actually keeping some sort of trauma that you've had from the past a secret. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. This might be something that you don't want to discuss with others because, uh, you know, it might, it, it's traumatizing. Whatever has happened, this could be from childhood trauma. I do see you working with others, though, to, though, to find that balance. And you're going to become more emotionally fulfilled after you do this. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. Wowzers, you guys. Let's see what this is here. Okay, whoops. Where, what card am I missing here? Oh. Actually, I'll take that card back then because I thought I had more than enough. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah. So, there's something that you're not speaking about in regards to this trauma, you know. Now, it could be, it could be involving, 
I don't, you know, I hate to mention this stuff, but it could be involving some sort of molestation or something like that. You might be working with others to heal this, this trauma. And, and this trauma has definitely in the past caused you some emotional turmoil. But I do see here that you're going to overcome it. And you're going to be able to speak about it. So you might actually become an advocate for that of some sort. Wow, that's that's interesting. And we have a seven of swords here. Yeah, but there's some sort of deception here. Um There's, there's some more things that um, are being hidden from you, and this is why this deception, or maybe there's, you know, somebody getting away, oh, somebody getting away with something. So basically, you know, another thing I hate to say, now this could be uh, involving a family member who caused you this trauma, and this person might actually be getting away for, uh, with it because you are not speaking out about it. And this has caused you some sort of emotional issues here. It has caused you to not be able to express your emotion. And, you know, that kind of situation as childhood trauma does affect our emotional state as adults. Okay. Um, we do have this Knight of Swords here. Yeah, I do feel like either you... Or another individual may come out with the truth. I think it might be you. You might actually speak up about this secret, uh, this secret that you just, you know, you, you, uh, you something has come to light, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna let this affect your life anymore. I, I do see maybe you're feeling as if uh, somebody has gotten away with something. You don't want them to get away with it. You are somebody in your environment, but I am feeling this is probably you that uh, you're going to be speaking your truth. Yeah, you're going to be speaking up your truth. You're not, you're actually not want, you don't want this person to get away with whatever it is. And, you know, oh, another thing I just thought is you might act, this might actually be somebody you know, an older person who may have done something to you. You may actually, if you have a child, you might be worried about your child being around this individual. And you may be wanting to take a chariot ride, taking your child away from that individual. <clears throat> you might actually be fighting for the child. Um, and you might be speaking out about these secrets, speaking this truth, and because you, you don't want somebody to get away with that, with your child or with a child or something like that. <clears throat> wow, this is a real deep one. Um, but I do see in the end, you are going to come out to be a more emotionally stable person from this because you're finally speaking your truth. You're finally speaking out uh, about this. And, and if you are to become an advocate um, of this, I do see success uh, with that for you here. Um, yeah, you might uh, maybe start some sort of charity or you might uh, an organization in regards to uh, trauma of some sort like that. Um. <clears throat> it, uh, I'm also seeing here, if, if this is love, you will be possibly... Um, once this situation is over in regards to this uh, secrets and um, the solutions and moving forward um, about dealing with something from a childhood or a child, once you get past this conflict and speak your truth, I do see that uh, you know, you're going to get over this deception or whatever this person is getting away with, and you're going to actually... Um, you're going to actually be able to um, be more emotionally um, stable within yourself. Now, I was going to put this back because it's more than the cards. You may be actually going to speak your truth to a Libra, maybe because now that you are uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sorry, and now that you are more emotionally stable, you're going to be able to speak to this person and, and maybe... Um, you know, be a little bit more open to them and maybe discussing, um, you know, why you have been so maybe closed off because of, you know, maybe because of this trauma here, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. You have the Four of Cups. You may feel like this opportunity has been missed, but it was missed because you were, you know... 
you were going through trials in your life that brought you to a certain point that, you know, brought this realization about something happened and um, you took a long time and you may be wanting to bring an offer to, you know, this King of Swords right here because, um, and let them know what this is why you've been so emotionally closed off, this, that, and the other. But, you know, I, I'm not sure where this Knight of, uh, King of Swords is, you know, how they're going to take it or if they're going to understand or whatever because um, I, I am feeling that there may have been some time that has passed because of your healing and they just didn't understand, you know. But uh, I'm sure that if you do understand that things can definitely get cleared up um, if you speak your truth, you know. So let's go ahead and let's grab, let's grab a couple cards from the Romance Angels. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attract, romantically attractive. So yeah, you know it's time to speak your truth. You know, love yourself by speaking your truth and standing in your own power. Right? Yeah. You know, if something like this is going on for you, or there may be an issue with your child or something, speak up about that child, or speak up about your trauma. Speak up about these secrets that you've been holding. You may have been holding them for a long time, and you're just like, you know what? I'm done with this. I, I. I you know, or maybe, maybe you, um, because this happens a lot, maybe you have um, been so traumatized that you did not remember that this happened, because that happens too, this mental blocks. Uh, your mind puts you through these mental blocks because something may have been just really just over the top traumatizing for you, and what your body does is it, it stores these, your, your, your traumatic files away, and you, you just can't dig them out and find them at any time. You know, you just may not even remember that this stuff happened and maybe one day something came to you, you know, maybe spirit brought you a message and then it triggered something or maybe someone said something or maybe a, um, a family member came and said something about a certain, in whatever the situation, you were triggered and that traumatic experience uh, came up, you know, and, 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 uh, and now you're looking to heal that uh, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So if this is a younger individual, this younger individual may have actually brought out uh, that trauma. If you have met somebody younger than you, maybe they spoke to you about their own childhood traumas, and it might have brought, you that, brought that out to you. And, and, and because you're so open with this individual, you know, you might have some, some confusions when it comes to love, right? You may feel that when... when uh, uh, now, this is, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but you may feel that when somebody can open up to you like that and express these things and you can express yourself back, you might fee be feeling, oh, that's love. You know, but it's, it's not. It's conversation. It's about opening up and, and being, uh, showing your vulnerability, right? It doesn't mean that, oh, they love me, so they're telling me all this stuff. No, they're just opening up to you and telling you about their life and about what has happened to them. And, and something has triggered you, you know? Um, and, 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 you know, this trauma that you may have had as a childhood may have skewed your perception of what love really is. And this is why you may have had trouble, uh, if you have, in your life with love because of the childhood trauma you know wow this is real deep jeez um well, i was going to put this back but look it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so if you're with somebody right now spirit is telling you to work on it you know because this could be your person this is the one you know that's meant for you if you're not with somebody right now maybe you've recently broke up with somebody or you have somebody in mind spirit is telling you to go and, and try to give this a chance maybe you need to open up more to an individual um yeah work on your partnership because you know you might have a lot in common, and um, I do feel that if you are going to be discussing this with another individual, somebody else might have been through the same exact traumas in life as you have, and um, this is a good match for you because you guys can work on these traumas together. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what I have for you, uh, Capricorn. Um, this is uh, for the first half of October 2020. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share if it resonated. Um, I would appreciate that. Also, don't forget to keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because you know what? Because we all go through trials in life. And the best thing for us to do, Capricorn, 
to face those, tr those, those traumas, those trials, those whatever we're going through head on. Get that shit out. Get that shit healed and heal yourself. And you're going to feel a weight lifted off you from doing so. You know, I don't know. I'm just giving you my little two cents in there. But I, I have a feeling that, you know, love yourself first, you know, love yourself first and speak your truth. And I guarantee you, your life is, it will change. It will be like a 360 for you, you know. All right, you guys, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you next time.